it's that time again where we are at the end of the Apple release cycle. We've got new laptops, new computers, new vision tech that ooh, is so exciting. But for today, what makes up the best Apple ecosystem that you can buy for summer of 2023? Now remember, there has to be a reason to buy an ecosystem. For me, I'm an office worker, I do a lot of traveling work, and I just need what's light as possible, has the best battery life as possible, and gives me the edge so I don't always have to be charging stuff. So the very first thing we're gonna talk about today is the MacBook Air 15 inch. Now I know I was kind of back and forth on this when we made the original video about it. However, this laptop it's kind of winning me over. First off, the battery life is insane. It's up there with almost as good as the MacBook Pro 16, which has what, like 20, 21 hours of battery life. This lasts long enough that you do not have to worry about charging it throughout a standard workday. I cannot say the same thing for my Windows computers that I have to use. The next best thing about the MacBook Air is the screen size, but it's not just the screen size. Yes, this 15.3 inch monitor is incredibly sharp. It's incredibly detailed. But the size of the screen gives you the bigger overall body, which buys you that better battery life, but also makes it a more stable computer to use. It is so, like, a computer that is this big has no business being as light as it is. And even though there's still some things that I do not like about the port selection here, having Thunderbolt 3 as opposed to something like the MacBook Pro with its Thunderbolt 4, you can still use a single cable and set this into a home or an office setup too. Like, you don't need an array of cables to make this work. One cable into a dock or something like that will work just as well it's really good you will not be sacrificing power with the macbook air either it's not as powerful as its bigger siblings but for a work computer again there's a reason for the ecosystem for a work computer this has all of the power that you could ever need and so long as you buy the base model the cheapest model which is the one that i recommend for business folks which is the one that i personally own you're also getting the best build quality and the best reliability that you're going to find at that price point, not just with Apple, but with anybody. Okay, so we've got a computer, but we also need to be able to talk to people, right? Like that's the whole point of the ecosystem is it's gotta work with your cell phone. Well, the phone that I recommend is the iPhone 14 Plus. Not one of the Pro or not the Pro Max, the 14 Plus, because this is what I really think of as the best balance between power, usability, battery life, Trust me, you'll be hearing battery life a lot today. But this is like the nexus of everything. And I know this sold terribly because it doesn't specialize, right? Like you've got the cheapest iPhone, you've got the pro iPhone with the cameras, or you've got the biggest iPhone, the Pro Max. I think of this as the most versatile iPhone, and I hope it sells better because this is the one that I think I would recommend to the most amount of people. It's got roughly the same size as the Pro Max. It doesn't have the same quality of cameras, but these cameras are still pretty good. The battery life is crazy. It's a phone. It will make phone calls just like the rest of the iPhones. And the thing that's most important is this works with the Apple Watch and it works with the AirPods, which the iPhone is really the hub around what everything else uses. You will notice this year that we do not have an iPad in this ecosystem because iPads, they're great, but I don't find them to be as useful if you have a computer. If you don't have a computer and you need something to do those kind of tasks, well then yes, I think an iPad fits in really well there. But instead, phone, computer, and then next, I still think the best Apple Watch you're gonna find is the Apple Watch Ultra. I'm not wearing mine right now, but you, you can see by my sweet yearly suntan that I get, I wear this thing all the time. I'm not wearing it right this second because it's kind of gross because I just wore it on a seven mile hike. The most important part about this specific watch is, let's all say it again, battery life. I find that I can go days without charging this. When I go on business trips anymore, if they're only two or three days at a time, I don't even bother bringing my Apple Watch charger because this battery is incredible. The extra screen size makes this really easy to use when you're outside running, hiking, doing any other kind of physical activity. The screen size makes it so nice and easy to interact with this. I'm not saying that you can't do the same thing with like a Series 8, but the rounded edges make it a little harder to be more precise. This screen, this battery life, makes the Apple Watch Ultra. I know it's expensive. Believe me, I got that. And I have a really hard time generally recommending the Apple Watch Ultra because the Series 8, the SE, they are also fantastic options, but it's just so good. It's almost like a whole different kind of device compared to the rest of the Apple Watch lineup because of how long it lasts, how rugged it is. I love this darn thing. And then literally the best headphones that I've ever owned in my life, the Apple AirPods Pro 2. These things, I don't know what else to say about these that I haven't already said. The noise cancellation is so good that I don't bring any other headphones with me anywhere, wherever I go. The noise that the airplanes make will just wear me out after a long flight. And I used to bring over the ear Sony headphones because those were the ones that had the best noise cancellation. This noise cancellation is good enough for me. I don't bring anything else. 
If you're taking meetings on the go, if you're listening to music while you're running, these pair incredibly well with the Apple Watch. So now when I'm out running, this is all I carry. Well, I don't carry this. They're in my ear, right? You got it. Another common refrain other than battery life is, these are also expensive, but they're just so good. That's what the things in this list, the things in this ecosystem, they are pricey, but they're better than anything else that you could find. Trust me, I have laptops and computers and headphones and phones for all this YouTube stuff. These are the ones that I continue to personally use. And that's why this is the best Apple ecosystem that you can get for summer of 2023. But what about you? What is your personal Apple ecosystem that you are bringing into the summer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video and you want to see how the MacBook Air stacks up against its closest competition, click here. Thanks for watching.